How are you two? Gonna be another video here. Uh, this one's gonna be about changing your tie rod ends and maintaining your alignment in the process. Uh, I got a 99 Ram 1500. This is gonna pertain to the second gen Rams that are 4x4 and not the two wheel drives. So I want to go over the process that I went through here and uh, uh, I've I've replaced my tie rod ends and I put pretty much brand new tires on the truck after I've done it. And I have my alignment checked before I've done this. My alignment was good. And uh, I've had no issues. I bought new tie rod ends is what I is what I put in here. And uh, I've had no issues whatsoever. It, it, it helped a, a good deal with the steering and all that kind of stuff. And I'm quite impressed, to be honest, with how much better this thing drives. But uh, I just want to go through my process here that I went through and uh, hopefully help some of y'all out. So here we go. Uh, you want to park on a flat level surface. And you can see my steering wheel isn't exactly straight. But uh, when you park your truck and cut it off, you want your steering wheel to be straight. And uh, once you get that done... <laughs> down here to the tie rod ends and what i done at this point was obviously blocked the wheel um i jacked up this is the driver's side here i jack jacked up the driver's side here and just put this driver's side on the jack stand and uh pop pop this driver's side tie rod end loose the steering stabilizer loose have to disconnect from there and then once that one was out then I took this one out that runs from the pitman arm to the passenger side. And then once I got all those out, I took my new ones down, laid them down, and adjusted them uh, pretty close. I, I didn't try to get them perfect. You don't have to be perfect because uh, when you put these things back in here, you're going to adjust them and, uh, to your locking. So once I got them all out, I matched the new ones up. I installed this tie rod end first it runs from the passenger tire to the pitman arm leave your adjuster loose and then once that one was bolted back in I reinstalled this one that runs to the driver's side tire and once you got that bolted back up leave your adjuster loose and then from then and I'm actually going to show y'all, this is on the driver's side here. Um, I did the passenger side first when I did this, and I'm sure some of y'all have seen this before. But, uh, tie a string off back there and run it through about midways, tie, midways of the tire through the tread. And pull it down through. And then and adjust, your tire, adjust your tie rod in with the adjusting sleeve until you get your toe alignment where you want it. And I pretty much put mine straight, really close to straight. If y'all remember, my steering wheel was just slightly to the left. I don't know if y'all can see. I can't, you can't really tell. Maybe you can slightly. But uh, I'm just off the sidewall. So you, when you pull this string in, you want it touching both the sidewalls. Or if you want it towed in a little bit, then tow it in a little bit. Or if you want it towed out, vice versa. But I did the driver or the passenger side first at this, with this string deal. And then once I got that side straightened up, then I came to this side, the driver's side, and then straightened this tire up. And uh, like I said, I've, I've had really good results with this. Uh, and this took me like a couple hours, maybe three hours, maybe, in my driveway here. Uh, I did this on gravel. As y'all can see, I have gravel. Um on concrete or something like that may want to get a cookie sheet or something and put up under your tire um and have at it this is really not a hard process it's just a matter of keeping track of what you're doing and you know the steps to take and being safe about it um like i said i this video is to hopefully help y'all out and uh that way y'all have the y'all have the confidence to change these things out yourself I, saw, I see a lot of people that talk about taking their truck to an alignment shop I, I, I have not been back to an alignment shop and I, I have not had any issues my tires are wearing 
pretty damn even no issues with that whatsoever um so like i said goal here is to give some of y'all the confidence to do this yourself and uh not have to go and fork out extra money that's not necessary so uh hope this video was helpful if it is uh please let me know appreciate it